Welcome. You are listening to Using Low Hoop Houses, Tunnels to Extend the Growing Season, presented by Heather Kolich, County Extension Director, Agriculture and Natural Resources Agent for the University of Georgia Extension for Scythe County. The University of Georgia is an equal opportunity, affirmative action, veteran, disability institution. Floating row covers and low hoop houses extend the gardening season later into the fall and can help gardeners get an early start on spring plantings. They work by capturing ground heat and keeping it around the plants under the covering. These temporary structures can increase the temperature inside the hoop house by up to 8 degrees simply by preventing ground heat from escaping into the air. Heavier frost blankets can help with early spring seed germination. Low hoop houses also offer protection from pest insects and small critters. Row covers are lightweight, non-woven fabric made from polyethylene, spun-bonded polyester, or spun-bonded polypropylene. They are similar to interfacing used in sewing. The porous fabric allows sun, rain, and air to filter through to the plants inside the tunnel. Hoops support the row cover fabric and lift it away from plants to allow for growth. For frost protection, the fabric needs to reach all the way to the ground on all sides of the planting bed. This traps ground heat inside the tunnel to raise the temperature by 2 to 8 degrees Fahrenheit above the outside air temperature and provide frost protection for a few to several degrees below freezing depending on fabric density. Frost protection increases with fabric thickness, but light penetration decreases. A bit of shade can benefit some plants, but too much can cause poor growth. While most seeds don't require sunlight to germinate, a few, including lettuce seeds, do. Select the appropriate product for your planting season and needs. The weight, thickness, or density of the fabric, percent of light transmission, and temperature of frost protection should be provided on the labeling. Low hoop houses can provide some wind protection, but the row cover can be blown astray in heavy winds. Use lumber, bricks, sandbags, or smooth rocks to hold the fabric firmly to the ground. Garden staples can tear the fabric. With care, the row cover can last for several seasons. Using plastic to cover a low hoop house can increase the heat capture, but plastic presents other problems. It blocks rain and air from reaching the plants, and the plastic must be pulled back daily to provide ventilation and release excess heat. In North Georgia, we usually see our first fall frost around October 30, and our last spring frost around or after April 15. Fabric coverings can stay over fall-grown plants throughout the growing season, but the tunnel hoops should be high enough to raise the fabric above the mature height of the plants. Most of our fall-grown plants are leafy greens or root crops that don't need an insect pollinator to produce the parts that we eat. So enclosing these crops within a hoop house at planting helps keep pest insects, like cabbage loopers, off the plants. Well-anchored fabric can also deter small mammals. For spring and summer crops, remove the fabric covering before flowering begins to allow pollinator access. Now that low hoop tunnels have gained in popularity, kits are available to order. However, DIYers can construct a simple and economical low hoop house using flexible half-inch PVC pipe. For raised beds, simply bend the PVC pipe and push the ends into the soil inside the frame. Place hoops at three-foot intervals down the length of the planting bed. Heavier PVC pipe and various connecting joints can be used to construct a horizontal framework to support hoops over in-ground rows of plants. If the row covering is attached to the lower framework, the whole structure can be rolled or lifted aside to allow access to the plants for harvest and care. Materials needed for a low hoop house construction may include kits that are available to order. You can order sets of hoops for under $20 up to $40. 
Full kits with fabric run from $80 to $300 and over. DIYers will need 10 foot lengths of flexible half inch PVC pipe that are around $5 each, floating row cover fabric, which runs $15 and up depending on the density and quantity of the fabric, and anchoring items such as lumber, bricks, or sandbags. But note that sandbags may leak. Additional materials that may be needed include a PVC pipe cutter with a price range of $15 to $40 and various PVC pipe connecting joints. Thank you for listening. For more information, please contact the Cooperative Extension Office for your county.